The White House today reaching out to American businesses that are increasingly finding themselves the target of cyber and ransomware attacks, writing in a new memo that all organizations must recognize that no company is safe from being targeted, regardless of size or location. The Justice Department has now sent out notification to U.S. attorneys on how federal law enforcement should respond to these attacks. One Justice Department official telling Reuters U.S. authorities must investigate ransomware and digital extortion attacks with a similar priority level as terrorism cases. These attacks have been on the rise for years uh, because these criminal groups are able to make a profit off the backs of businesses, schools, local governments, and more. The White House also reiterating President Biden will bring this up in his upcoming meeting with Vladimir Putin. This coming after the country's largest mass transit agency in New York City revealed its computers were the target of an attempted attack linked to the Chinese government in April. And in Massachusetts, a ferry system that connects Cape Cod to Martha's Vineyard, confirming it was also the victim of a cyber attack just as summer travel kicked into gear. The FBI just this week blaming a cyber criminal group based in Russia for attacking the world's largest meat supplier, JBS, which came after another ransomware attack by Russian-based hackers on the Colonial Pipeline that caused gas prices to spike on the East Coast. It may seem like just a regular collision on the Utah highway, but police body cam captures the shocking moment West Valley police discovered the driver was a nine-year-old girl. In the passenger seat, her four-year-old sister. She's driving? The girls told police the plan was to drive to California to go swim in the ocean. The road trip started from their home and managed to last 10 miles before this head-on collision with a semi-truck. Luckily, no one was harmed. News tonight involving Florida Congressman Matt Gates. Sentencing for his former associate, Joel Greenberg, is now set for August 19th after he pleaded guilty to a host of crimes, including sex trafficking of a minor. In his plea deal, Greenberg claiming he introduced the minor to other adult men who engaged in commercial sex acts, and he's now promising to cooperate. Investigators have also been looking into whether Greenberg and Gates offered gifts and cash in exchange for sex. Prosecutors now reportedly also looking into whether Gates obstructed justice during a phone call. A spokesman for Congressman Gates tonight saying he pursues justice, he doesn't obstruct it. Fifteen former fraternity members at Washington State University have been charged with allegedly giving alcohol to minors. 19-year-old Sam Martinez died of alcohol poisoning during a pledge party in 2019. Authorities say he was dead for four hours before anyone called 911. His family is upset the statute of limitations for hazing was allowed to expire, saying, quote, this is not justice. It does not bring us closure. Ring is changing the way public safety agencies like police and fire departments get access to video footage from its neighborhood watch app. Starting next week, video must be requested through the request for assistance feature. It's a new publicly viewable post on the neighbor's app. Ring says no information will be shared without a user consent and the request history will be logged online. Previously, Ring device owners got a private message about agencies looking for videos. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.